Hi, and thank you for listening. My name is Paul Burchard, and I'm going to discuss our recent study of intrathecal morphine in our Whipple patient population. This was a retrospective review of all patients undergoing the Whipple procedure at our institution from 2014 to 2020. We compared three groups, intrathecal morphine, intrathecal morphine plus tap blocks, and no spinal analgesia. Our primary outcomes were average daily pain scores from postoperative days 0 to 3, total morphine equivalents over the same time frame, and average daily inpatient morphine equivalents from postoperative day 4 to discharge. We additionally looked at length of stay, functional recovery, which we defined as time to ambulation more than 100 feet, and opioid-related complications. Our, all cohorts were similar with the exception of longer operative duration in those patients who received intrathecal morphine, and intrathecal morphine was implemented more recently at our institution, making it more frequently used in recent years. We found no differences in postoperative pain scores from days 0 to 3 amongst all three cohorts. We did find significantly reduced total morphine equivalents over days 0 to 3 in both of our intrathecal morphine cohorts, as well as reduced average daily morphine equivalents from postoperative days 4 to discharge in our intrathecal morphine groups. Through multivariable analysis, we found that intrathecal morphine was independently associated with reduced opioid utilization, reduced days to functional recovery, and reduced length of stay compared to no spinal analgesia. As a countermeasure, we assessed opioid-related complications, and we found no differences in naloxone administration, respiratory failure, ileus, or delayed gastric emptying between all three cohorts. In conclusion, intrathecal morphine was associated with reduced early postoperative and total inpatient utilization, days to functional recovery, and length of stay amongst our patients undergoing the WIPO operation. And this may provide a safe and effective form of perioperative analgesia in these patients. Future studies should prospectively look at intrathecal morphine in combination with analgesic regimens for pancreatic surgery to provide further insight on outcomes such as operative duration, length of stay, and hospital costs. Thank you for your time.